Aquarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for April 18 through the 24th. And I'll take a deeper look into whatever popped up for you in your original reading. Keep in mind, these are still general readings. So even though my focus may be primarily on you, rules can still be reversed. Nosage. Uh, let's see, Aquarius. What's going on? The overall energy for the reading, the Ace of Cups. Brand new beginning in love here. Possible. Uh, in the recent past, the Three of Cups, the Page of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles. Really wanting to... I don't feel like this is coming in as a reconciliation or restoring a situation. It could be that really getting into that place of renewal for a situation that you've been in. There's this openness. There's this sense of curiosity. There's this you know what, let's do this, let's do that, let's do a few things more than we used to do. Or there, there's this desire to work on things, to make things a little... Not even better, because I don't feel like they've been necessarily broken, but... More light, more loving. I don't know, bring out the love a little bit in the situation. Anyways, in the current situation, the Nine of Wands, the King of Swords, the World card. It's that um, energy of my way or the highway. I say no to this. It's going to be no. Nobody's going to convince me otherwise. Uh, it's a pretty rough around the edges kind of an energy. A pretty, a little controlling. Um, I feel like you're kind of closing a cycle in regards to this energy. So I'm not saying you're not going to do that anymore. It's just kind of looking like it's shifting someplace else where it's not going to show up as such, no, you know, um, it's not going to look as rough anymore. You're mellowing down here. In the immediate future, the Ten of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the Seven of Swords. I see this kind of like a fear to open up a little more. Um, so, as I said, the reading started with, I want to restore, not restore, make something more loving, more this, that, and the other. And it takes some energy. It takes some, you know, opening up from your heart to do that. In the immediate future, it doesn't look sustainable. It looks like, you know, yeah, I can do this for a split second. But if you ask me to do it for like a year or two or three, I don't know if I can sustain this. You know, there's that fear of not being able to sustain this energy of, support love whatever is going on here you know so let's um let's see let me see the ace of cups the world card the six of cups the ten of wands what is going on here It's, there's a shift going on. There's someone showing up, which I feel like it's you, showing up in an energy of hope for love, hope for this could feel different, this could look different, this could be different, you know, in a in a good way. And then there's there's that shift on it. Like, nah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it can. But it's happening so sudden that I'm like, I don't even have time to sink into this energy that someone is wanting to bring in. And then it's like, nah. Because mm -mm. it feels hard. It feels hard to sustain again. You know, it's that whole sense of I can show up in this energy for a day or two, but then eh, I don't have time, you know, to, to put in the effort and the energy and the love in this to sustain it. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Let's see the Three of Cups in the recent past. The Four of Cups, the Temperance card, the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, someone wanted to... Oh, maybe that's the issue. It's like, let's say you're in a situation that has problems here and there, you know? And it's like, 
the way you're coming in with this new energy, it's like, let's erase everything and let's throw in love, you know? Let's bombard it with love. And that'll make everything go away and it'll be, you know... So I can understand now why things have twisted and changed here from this place, like fast. Because if there were some issues, if something wasn't quite right, it's like the crack in the foundation, right? And that friendship that kept us together, that whole sense of partnership beyond love. Love is like the cherry on top. It's perfect. If it's there, lucky people, right? But a lot of people forget that what makes that strong is the foundation, just like a house, right? If there's cracks there over time, it'll fall. So you can't just kind of add on top of that foundation more love, more this and that, more roofs and walls and all of that and be like, yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Somebody tried here though. Somebody tried. Because someone has been unhappy in a situation for quite some time. And they're like, we'll, we'll erase that. Throw in the love. Should be fine. E no, it's not going to be sustainable. You know, not as long as that foundation has cracks. Mm. Let's see. Let's see the Nine of Wands in the current situation. The King of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Hierophant. Someone is stepping into this role of almost like the provider, the I'm in charge, you know? Uh, now the Hierophant usually is pretty spiritual, deep, knowledgeable, there's a whole lot of sense of stepping into this role. There's a little bit of control over that, though. There's a little bit of yes inside you're stepping into that role and you feel like you're in this place of, I create my own life, I make my own decisions, everything's perfect, everything, and really embracing that. But coming from the place of the mind, if you're pushing it a little too far, you're stepping into that place of control rather than understanding how you create your own life and how, you know, you allow for it to unfold and you're there to, to, to just throw in the ingredients for it to go in the direction that feels right to you. Uh, it's like someone is forgetting about that aspect of feeling and is kind of pushing all the right buttons to satisfy their ego rather than how they truly feel. Um, Mm -mm -mm. And there is a little bit of resistance to this energy, but it's still coming through. You know, there is a little bit of, this doesn't feel right. This is, um, there's something in this that, mm. but it's still so powerful from the mind that it kind of takes over. Let's see the King of Swords. The Eight of Pentacles, the Hermit, the Eight of Swords. Yeah, when you go within, then something doesn't match anymore because the mind perspective has taken over so much that whatever you feel inside doesn't align with what's going on on the outside and it starts to get confusing and it starts to get icky and it starts to be frustrating and it's like what the hell is going on here because when you're well, when you think you're under control over everything that's going on the universe is going to show you no you're, you're probably not so it's, it's going to have its ways to sneak in there and show you nah this is not aligned with what's going on inside here, so no. Mm -mm. This is aligned with your ego. You wanting for things to happen here, now, then, you know. So it's going to get confusing, and I feel like that's where you're at right now. Let's do the world card. It's that adrenaline, that feeling that you're in control. When in fact... Not really. For the world card, you get the Six of Swords, the Fool, the Seven of Wands. All right. So from this place where you established, I'm going to push all the buttons needed to satisfy my needs, when in fact, beyond that is your ego. Because uh, again, if you're in the King of Swords about it two times and so pressing, that's satisfying your ego, not your real needs. 
Uh, but from this place, you're deciding, I'm going to move on. I'm going to embrace the world with whatever it has to offer me. I'm going to be, you know, whatever. We'll see what comes next. But you're showing me resistance to that too, which makes sense. Because if you have stepped into your ego, there's going to be resistance to opening up to what the universe has to show you. Um because you may not like it and you may want to press a different button, you know? Now, mm. I get the sense that you're a little bit stuck in this energy though, uh, which is telling me that you may not see clearly that this is what's happening. And if you're being triggered by this, like, no tomorrow, then that, to me, is definitely a confirmation that you are in this place. You know, if you're like, no, I'm not, I'm doing it because I feel that it's right. No, the feeling is gone. The feeling is not here. It's because you think. And that would be the problem. If that's the case and you find yourself in this place, start feeling a little more. As confusing as it can get, start feeling, go through that confusion. Because um, you're in thinking mode a lot here. All right, in the immediate future, you get the Ten of Pentacles. For the Ten of Pentacles, you get the Knight of Swords, the Justice card, the King of Cups. There you go. Starting to go towards the emotions more, towards how you feel rather than only how you think. I feel like you got up in this, you got caught up in this current of thinking. And you may be telling yourself that, no, it's an aligned kind of a mode. It's I'm aligned with my emotions too. It's everything is in there. The emotions are there too. They're not. They're not showing up for me. Now in the immediate future, when you intentionally go towards that place of your emotions, they're showing up big time. You know, very different energy here. Very different. Um, where there's a sense of trying to fix something, you know, and you need those emotions to fix this because it's something meaningful to you. It's something stable. And if you've been acting within this space of the mind towards the situation, I can understand why you're trying to, to bring out the emotions so that, you know, everything falls back into a place of balance. Um, let's do the Knight of Cups in the immediate future. Whew, awesome. The Sun, the Ten of Cups, the Seven of Cups. Okay, so now the emotions are starting to show up. Now that I feel like even the Sun is starting to come out more. Um, I, I, for real, the Sun there, not the Sun here, even though the Sun is here. Um, yeah, as soon as you open up your heart again, it's going to be options left and right to create this happiness, to make this happiness come together, to make the situation come together in a beautiful place, you know? Right now, there are no options. There's just buttons that you can keep pressing from the mind. In the immediate future, the universe is going to serve you with a, with a plate of options on how to get here to this happy place. Let's see the Seven of Swords. Ten of Swords, Six of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Mm. Okay, so it feels like you're a little scared here. There, that even though love is showing up, and even though these options of happiness are showing back up, uh, it scares you a little bit. It scares you into your own fear of losing everything, your own... Fear of loss, fear of abandonment here. Now, what's good about this whole situation is that whatever you do about it and whichever place you want to take it for yourself, um, you're showing up at the end of the day here as all of this leading you towards self-love, self-care. Uh, self-love, most importantly, because that's when your emotions need to come out. You know, that's when you really need to feel that place because if you don't love yourself nobody else will right so when somebody else shows up as a potential of oh my god they can offer me this 
first you got to go back to you and offer this to yourself. So I feel like that's where all of this is leading towards, towards you doing that from your own fear of maybe I'm going to lose this. Mm -hmm. If you love yourself here, chances are somebody else will too, you know, for as long as you love yourself. Interesting reading. Let's see what the universe has. death card the page of pentacles the six of pentacles you're very resistant there's a little bit of resistance here towards and i can understand especially if you're in this um king of swords energy right now where you don't see this as oh i have something to learn from this maybe i should go and open up my heart more or maybe you know uh i feel like you're very resistant to opening up to learning more and again, it makes sense, right? If I'm in control of things and I feel like I've got, I can do whatever, whenever, what else do I need to learn? You know, I'm creating my own life, pressing whatever buttons I want, when I want. I got nothing to learn. I got it. So there's a little bit of that going on here. So try to stay more open. Try to... Um, I see it coming in the immediate future that it's kind of going to hit you and you're going to be like, okay, I need to freaking open up. There's no choice here. I don't see the transition to that though. I'm like, how do you get from there to here? I don't need to know. You'll know. It's an individual process, I'm sure. But for right now, you're showing up as very resistant to anything other than buttons that you can press whenever you want to. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.